Hello Liverpool, how are we doing? Well, well? Good, my name's James, uh, and I go by James, I'm not a Jim, I was never a fan of Jim. Guy shouted out last night, uh, we can see that, so... <laughs> Just because you're right doesn't mean you need to be honest, does it? It's not the worst thing that we said to me this week. On Tuesday, right, I don't know if anyone's heard this before, on Tuesday, I was told that because my eyes are close together, it makes me the product of incest. <laughs> like, I wasn't expecting it going into the opticians, but <laughs> they're the experts, so you guys ever heard that before? Apparently it's a thing, right? And I googled it, I looked it up, and I asked my girlfriend what she thought, and she just shot me a look and went, ask mum and dad. <laughs> She's funnier than me. Uh, I have a bad experience with health professional right now, man. Like last month, I had something happen to me, right? I had a rough month. And uh, my girlfriend's great. She came to me and she said, James, I've booked in for a wee bit of therapy. Go and speak to someone. You'll be fine. And I was like, cool. And I went down there. And I was nervous, right? And as soon as I got in the, the door, I said to the girl, like, I told her all the problems I was having, all these feelings that I was having, things like that. Uh, so I told her it was affecting me sexually. And she said... Do you know what's involved in physio? <laughs> so, got my knee fixed in the end, got it sorted. Oh. Uh, it's good to be in Liverpool, it's good about comedy, you get to travel around, see different places. I've been looking at the kind of, like the travelling around Europe, the backpacking thing. My pal just got back from that, he was in Vietnam, and uh, when I, cheer for Vietnam, <laughs> and uh, when I asked him how it was, I said, how was Vietnam? And he went, aye, ah, it was good, it was 50 pence a pint. And I was like, does it count as travelling if all you did was drink further away? <laughs> like, I was asking about, I was, I was reading about the travelling thing, right? And I was reading the article. Do you remember that guy who, remember the guy who visited the isolated Centralinese tribe? He was shot to death by arrows. Remember, right? Apparently said he was going to show them Jesus. And they beat him to it, so... <laughs> Could have been worse for him. He could have been lured into a bonfire by cannibals as he discovered his tribal tattoos translated into cooking instructions. <laughs> so, poor guy. It's good to get away, isn't it? Detox and that. I came off social media there. Like, I don't use Twitter and stuff just now. And uh, I don't know why I use Twitter sometimes. Like, I, I, I muted the terms Brexit and sexual assault and I've been scrolling down a blank screen for months. <laughs> It's a grim place just now, isn't it? Twitter with the Me Too and the sexual assault stuff. It's horrible. All your actors, favourite actors, let you down and stuff. Everyone aware of the Kevin Spacey scandal? Right? Yeah, right. I have a theory that this stuff's going to start affecting movies now. And if you don't believe me, think about this, right? People won't know what it's like now to watch the usual suspects for the first time and not know who to suspect. <laughs> He's ruined it. I was, wa we were, I was watching Terminator 2, my girlfriend, the other night, right? And I love Schwarzenegger, love him, he's great. And we were watching it and she turns to me and she goes, he's next, he's for it. And I was like, nah, not him. And I brushed it off and I was lying in my bed that night, dreaming of Arnold. <laughs> and uh, I was thinking over and I was like, she might be right, he might have been a womanizer back in the day. And he's back making Terminator movies now. And I'm starting to get worried that his career's going to end in a remake of Predator that's Arnold chasing himself around the jungle for two hours. <laughs> I love the movie Total Recall, but I'm sick of sequels and I don't want to see a sequel to that set in a courtroom titled I Don't Recall. <laughs> Do you? So, uh, I love my girlfriend now. Been together for six years. I love her now, or to put it a better way, I moved back home. <laughs> it's another incest joke. <laughs> uh, she's here tonight. <laughs> yeah, we love to go. We just adopted a dog. Yeah, yeah. Anything to save the relationship at this point, but you know, you'd, you'll try anything at this stage, won't you? Uh, we went to dog shelter. Uh, everyone knows dogs trust. Yeah. I don't trust any of them. <laughs> Uh, it's hard to trust a charity that up until 2003 was named the National Canine Defence League. Defence League's not a trustworthy title anymore, is it? Sounds racist. Sounds like they would have a no black labs allowed policy. 
isn't it? Coming here, taking our owners. It was grim, man. We went down there and uh, we, we walked down the corridor and the dogs are all behind glass windows. It was like a North Korean buffet. <laughs> and uh, they all had little disclaimers above the windows, like a wee rap sheet of what they've did. And it ranged from the manageable, like the first one was like, Ollie, can't be left home alone. And you're going, cool, we can deal with that. And then you got along to the end, it was just like, Bruno voted leave. <laughs> How'd they get on the electro rich? Does that So we took a dog home. It was apprehensive about getting a dog again, because we used to have dogs, right? But they break your heart, don't they, when they die and stuff. Like our last dog, when it died, right? Um, it was old age that got it in the end. Old age. There was nothing wrong with it. We left it with my gran for a week and she forgot to feed it, so. <laughs> that was a shame. Uh, I worry about the town we live in, right? Cause, uh, I live in a wee town called the Barton. It's just between Glasgow and Loch Lomond. Uh, now, the Barton is a famous bridge, right? Big deal, loads of places have famous bridges, but most places have cool bridges, you know, like the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, or Brooklyn Bridge, Tower Bridge in London, whatever. Do you know what the Barton's famous bridge is called? The Dog Suicide Bridge. <laughs> it's absolutely true, you can look it up, right? Don't worry, it's not as bad as it sounds either, plus it probably has a real name, but you know what it's like when you're, you live somewhere, places have nicknames, if you're in a rush, you need to meet somebody, like, oh, I'll get you the Dog Suicide Bridge, cool. I'll get you the dog suicide bridge in five minutes. I'll be at the dog suicide, you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, it's a total mystery, right? No one knows what causes it. Some people put it down to like paranormal activity, like ghosts and stuff. Some people say it's like the vermin and the rodents that live under the gorge, so like the dogs get a scent for it and they jump off. But it's a total mystery. Some people still laughing at the dead dogs. <laughs> and, uh, it's a total mystery, right? No one knows what causes it. Like, even Scooby-Doo and the gang would struggle to solve it. <laughs> like, well, gang, we know who's behind all the recent dog deaths. It was a groundskeeper, old man Johnson. Isn't that right, Scooby? <laughs> Scoop. It's all mystery. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I found out a wee old guy in my street, right? I heard through the grapevine that his dog jumped off this bridge years ago and died, right? And I don't really know him that well, but I seen him out in the street a wee while ago. His name is Billy, and I called him over, and I thought I'm going to, like, tell him everything that I've researched about it. Maybe it'll give him a bit of closure, you know, put things to rest for him. It'll explain why his dog did what it did. And I called him over, and I told him, and, uh, like, ten minutes into me telling him, he said, I need to stop you there. And I was like, oh, no. Oh no, I've upset him. And he went, I don't think it was any of that superstitious stuff. And I was like, no. And he went, no, no. I mean, unless the tennis ball thrower was haunted, I know exactly what caused that. So, all right, guys, you've been lovely amount of time. Thank you very much.